What's up YouTube, this is James, and a lot of you have been asking me for the chords to When You Love Someone. And I've been using YouTube as a teacher for about six years for guitar and piano, and I found that the fastest way I learn a song is really by watching someone play it and talking about the chords as they go, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing today. So the final thing I'll say before we begin is if I go over a part a bit fast and you don't quite catch it, feel free to pause the video and go and watch it. Um, again, as many times as you really need to. So, that being said, let's begin. The song is in standard tuning and it has a capo on the fifth fret. There are three parts to this song. There is the intro and the verse, which is the same guitar part. There is the pre-chorus and there is the chorus. Um, and there's quite a lot of overlap in the chords, so you don't have to learn all new chords uh, every section, which is nice. So, the first chord is an E minor seven, and the way we're gonna play it is with our first finger, on the 7th fret of the A string, our 2nd finger on the 7th fret of the G string, and our ring finger on the 8th fret of the B string. These are the notes that you should have. And the way I play it is I pluck the A and the B string and followed by the G string. So A and B together, G string, and then I kind of hit the guitar, I go, like a light strum. So A and B, G, Second chord is exactly the same shape, just two frets higher. So nine, nine, ten, and I pluck the A and B followed by the G again. But instead of strumming, we're just going to stop it. So then the third chord, first finger is on the tenth fret of the A. Ring finger is on the twelfth fret of the G, and pinky is on the twelfth fret of the B. We're leaving the middle finger out for this chord. And again, A and B, followed by G. Instead of hitting or stopping, back to the A again. So, and then the pinky is gonna go from the 12th fret to the 13th fret, you pluck it, and back down to the 12th fret. So like this. So what we've got so far is this. And the final chord for the verse is really a G. We usually play it down here. Uh, for you guys that don't know the G, it's a uh, middle finger is on the eighth fret, first finger is on the seventh fret of the A, the uh, D and the G are open, and the uh, ring finger is on the eighth fret of the B, and the pinky is on the eighth fret of the E. Now, this is a normal G, and the difference between this and the one that I play in the song is my pinky is not on the eighth fret, it's on the tenth fret. So it's a bit of a stretch, but you get that nice kind of floating high note over the chord. And the way I pluck it is E and B I pluck together, then G, D, E, B. I'll play it, and I play that twice, so. And if you put all that together, you get the verse, and I'll play it through for you now. We're going to move on to the pre-chorus now. And the pre-chorus is a lot more strummy. There's less picking involved. So the first chord is very similar to the chord, uh, the first chord of the verse. So if you put your fingers back to the first verse chord, and all you have to do is take off your middle finger, so you have these two notes, and you're really going to strum. You're going to strum the whole, all, all strings. And the way I strum it is I kind of go down, 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 up. And that's what we're going to do for all of these chords. So first chord, then second chord, we're just going to keep these where they are, middle fingers going on the 8th fret of the E. Now the next chord, so that's really a G, next chord is a D. So for you guys that don't know, 7th fret with the first finger on the G string, 8th fret of, uh, with the ring finger on the B string, and 7th fret with the middle finger on the E string. And then we're going to go to an A. And then A, first finger is on the uh, D seventh fret, second finger is on the seventh fret of the G, and B is seventh fret with the uh, with the um, ring finger. Now they're all kind of like tucked into a small space. You kind of have to squeeze them together for this one. So that's the first time round. We actually play it two times round. So. Now 
we don't play that third the third D chord. We skip it and we go straight to the A. And we're forgetting the, the strumming pattern now because we're just strumming the A. Then the ring finger is moving up one fret from here to here. Strumming that. And then the pinky is going to put on uh, at the 10th fret on the B as well. So it goes. So the whole pre-chorus together sounds like this. which is the final part that we haven't learnt yet. So, nicely, the first chord of the chorus is the same as the first chord of the verse. Back to this E minor 7. And I pluck it slightly differently. So the A is by itself, and the G and the B are together. So, stop. Stop. And then the second chord, uh, I'm plucking the A and the B together. And I'm taking the first finger off and sliding the uh, the ring finger from the eighth fret to the seventh fret. So these are the notes. The second, the second chord. So A, G, and B. Stop. A and B. And then plucking the G afterwards. Now I'm putting the uh, basically back to the first chord again, except um, this finger is going on the E string on the seventh fret, not the A string. So these are the notes. And again, E first, and then G and B together. Stop. And then uh, the the, uh, the middle finger is going to swap ba basic places with the first finger. So the first finger is going to go down to the seventh fret of the G, where the middle finger was, and the middle finger is going to go to the eighth fret of the E. These are the notes. So this is how the chorus goes. Plug all of them. All of those notes together. And we're playing that three times uh, like this. Now we're going to play the first chord of the pre chorus, strum it. The same strumming pattern. And then the final chord is the second chord of the pre-chorus, where we put that middle finger on the eighth fret. And that is the end of the chorus. So the whole chorus together. And you go straight back into the verse. And they are all the sections. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. The last thing I'll say um, is if this key doesn't quite suit your voice because we all have different voices, feel free to just move the capo around uh, the guitar and try the song in different places. And you might find it suits your voice a little bit better. I really look forward to hearing your covers of this song. Feel free to tweet me or, or send them to me on Instagram or YouTube. My name is at James C W Music. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, guys. Um, I'll see you very, very soon.